Santa Anita made national headlines this year after 30 horses died while racing or training there. Del Mar Thoroughbred Club officials are hoping the negative news doesn't keep people away from their track. Well, I think that we've been very busy in the last month trying to tell everybody that we're not Santa Anita. Joe Harper is CEO of the Del Mar Thoroughbred Club. There's a quarter of a mile to go. He says a rainy winter is likely what contributed to the number of deaths at Santa Anita. It was probably one of the wettest winters Santa Anita's ever had. Uh, that doesn't necessarily mean you can't race on a wet track, but uh, there is a point there where the track can get oversaturated and you, when you seal it, make it harder uh, and then have horses run on it, you're, you're probably asking for trouble. Del Mar has had its share of problems in the past. In 2016, 23 horses died after training or racing in Del Mar, making it one of the deadliest years ever. We had to take a hard look at the track. Harper says it's not clear why so many horses died then, but one thing they did do was redo the dirt track. Rebank the turns a little higher. We kind of, it's like picking up a carpet and fluffing it and putting it back down. Got rid of the, the inconsistencies in the, in, the, in the track. This led to far fewer deaths. In 2017, 12 horses died after training or racing in Del Mar, and nine were lost in 2018. Harper says keeping a track safe is a science. Kind of dirt science. I mean, this thing out there, it looks like it's just a bunch of dirt, but it's alive. During the off-season, the track, which is made up of dirt and sand, is compressed and sealed. Then the process starts of rehabbing the dirt. They've been doing this uh, since uh, the fair left after the 4th of July to bring this track back up to where it's safe. Harper says you want to have the right amount of padding so that the track isn't too hard. Without that cushion, accidents and injuries can happen. And after each injury at Del Mar, horses are evaluated. And, and examined by veterinarians. So then a decision is made as to whether or not the horse can be saved. Uh, if it's a bad break, usually the, the most, most humane thing is to euthanize the horse. After the recent deaths at Santa Anita, state racing officials will now require a pre-race evaluation of Del Mar horses. State veterinarians will have the power to stop a horse from running. Still, some think horses shouldn't be racing at all. What happened out at Santa Anita is not unusual. This happens every year at every racetrack, including Del Mar. Horses are dying there for a pure entertainment of the humans. Ellen Erickson regularly protests the races in Del Mar. We are fighting to ban horse racing. She says tracks can implement all the safety measures they want. If horses are still running, they will die. There's no middle ground. Reform doesn't work. They've been trying it for years. Erickson wants people to be more aware of the deaths and is hoping lawmakers will take notice too. I think um, legislation has to happen. I think our lawmakers need to be aware of what happens at these racetracks. One one dead horse is too many at any racetrack ever. The Santa Anita deaths did get the attention of lawmakers. New legislation signed by Governor Gavin Newsom says racing may be suspended at any time to protect the safety of horses. Um, Harper insists that the safety of horses is a top priority. There's no cruelty to animals going on here, you know, and um, we just want to make sure that we're doing everything so we know that that horse is healthy enough to be out here. Track officials say that the nine deaths in 2018 came as horses raced or trained on the Del Mar track an estimated 75,000 times. Harper says getting to zero deaths is a long shot. That zero is probably a difficult number, but it's one we're all striving for. Del Mar says in general, there are two types of people that attend its races. We have the hardcore racetrack guy who comes out just to bet and look at the horses. And then we have everybody else that comes out to wear hats and, and uh, have a party and go to the concerts. and. Uh, and do all the fun things like, you know, chili cook-offs and wine tasting and beer fests and things like that. And it's that casual patron that the racetrack is afraid of losing. We kind of expected some kind of negative impact from Santa Anita. Our sales are down slightly, seats and stuff, some, are, some areas are up. Um, that, uh, it was less than I thought. Harper says he hopes people will see that Del Mar is doing what they can to prioritize horse safety. I, I have some good friends who say, I, I just, you know, makes me nervous to watch a race. You know. Sometimes it makes me nervous to watch a race too. I want to get over that. I want to make sure we've done everything so these horses are out here. You know, I, we all feel comfortable. Hey, they're good.